you get rich by using the ontology, I'd be happy because that mean, will mean uh, it will get broad adoption. So my main uh, interest at this very moment is that the ongoing adoption continues and broadens so that eventually in a year or so um, every uh, restaurant, every hairdresser, every uh, online shop will use good relations for exposing the data. Now what's the relationship between good relations and E-class OL and other ontologies for e-commerce? Um, E-class OL is an ontology for products and services. Uh, I derived that in 2006 from a classification standard uh, called E-class. It provides 30,000 classes for defining the nature of products, the types of products. So it defines classes like camcorder, pencil, car, projector, tripod, and respective features. So with good with E-class OL and other ontologies for products and services, you can describe what an object is, the features of that very object. But they don't give you a vocabulary for describing the commercial sides of the game. So that you are offering to transfer, to give up your property rights on this item if you give me 100 euro. Okay? So good relations is about companies, offers, Describing business entities, describing warranty promises, eligible payment methods, eligible regions, shipping charges, um, quantity discounts, um, eligible types of businesses, and the like. And it provides a lightweight top-level ontology for products and service ontologies for vertical industries. So it's the overall umbrella. And why is it called good relations? Because all the things that I mentioned, all the commercial aspects of an offer of, of, of e-commerce,